Hello everyone, welcome back to Making Richie Rich. So, finally an update on my BF Bot Manager journey and what I've been doing and what the bots are up to and how much money have I made. Um, we'll go and have a look at all the new ones I've been working on. Um, I have put a video up earlier on just about my Delato journey. If you haven't seen that yet, go check it out. And I said at the start of that about I've been working on new ones um, just because with the football finish, they kind of... I just wanted to try something new to, and, you know, branch out a bit more. I still have all my old classics there. They're all on my Discord for anybody who is looking to sign up. Just fire me over an email, makingrichyrich at hotmail.com. Uh, it should be down below anyway. But what we'll do is we're going to jump over now onto the BF Bot Manager. And I'm going to show you a few of the ones I've been working on and hopefully we'll get watching one live. And you can see how it works. So with that being said... Let's go see if we made Richie Rich. And welcome back. So here you go, we've got my BF bot monitor up. And as you can see, there's a couple of different ones here you wouldn't be used to seeing. Um, this one up here I'll talk about in a minute, but this one here we're going to have a look at uh, live. It's back in the favourite, the first to fourth favourite, and we're touching it. Um, so quite good profit. I've actually, um, was more than this, but I restarted it to test with this cord as well and show them how it's working. So currently it's up 122 pound and profit there. Um, but let me see if we can go get on this race. I wonder, will this let me show it live? Alongside Rum Cocktail swiftly moves past. Okay, there Champagne we go. So Sarah it's currently third, playing. Then strong power and Deremia lip sync went hard early, paying for that now. It is Rum Cocktail who's streaking right away. Rum Cocktail for Lawrence Bellman. Ed well, Rum Cocktail currently won. Written to victory by Safi Osborne. Count the lengths. Um, Champagne Sarah second was back in third for Champagne strong power. Champagne Sarah and third. Okay, so let's, well done. So let's go and look at this, okay? We'll go over the each way market and uh, make sure that's loaded up so you can see it. So Rome Cocktail, I currently won five pound there, so it's six pound on in total. Um, it's actually twelve pound in total because if you double that up, it's an each way stake. So uh, it was currently recovering from before. Um, so what it done was put six pound on, which is actually twelve pound. And let me just get this up. So rum cocktail won five pound, and then to say Champagne Sarah second, if it did come second, you see where it says nineteen p, the middle one. That's what you I'll lose nineteen p, and the rest is what um, I've just lost completely because there's only two places in this one. So I've lost the pound on strong par and one pound seventy four uh, on that one. Sorry, my daughter phoned me there. <laughs> Uh, not that you notice, because I, I just paused the stream. But yes, as we can see, Rum Cocktail and Champagne Sarah won there, as we're talking. Um, let's bring this down and go over here and look. So if you look, we got £3.68 on Rum Cocktail. We only lost 10p on Champagne Sarah. And then we lost the 126 on Limp Sync and £1 on Strong Power. So if we look there, 226 236 but we won 368 so that's £1.30 profit on that one. Um, this one I'm only doing it on free horses. So it was roughly 90p profit on that one. And this is one that somebody put in the Discord group that we've been working on. And he asked me what I tested today. So it's my first day testing it on live. Currently £3.81 in profit. And he has certain parameters in this here for what um, horses it get on, gets on. In this case, it only got on one, yes, and that one lost. Champion Sarah didn't win. So um, it'll move on to the next one. So we're currently testing that. But um, that's the ones we're doing for the horses at the moment. And then over here, I'm doing my dogs. Similar fashion that I have been testing for the last couple of months on simulation and finding out what the best combination was. And this is what I've came up with. And as you can see, Nice green profits there. So what this does is touch the favorite one, four, and six. And this one is two, three, and five. So as long as similar as above, as long as 
first four for six wins, this one, the strategy will win, okay? And where are we at? So there you can see 27p and it won 151. Now what this is, it's not recovery, it's on a staking plan. So I have it set, so it'll only go to a certain amount of cycles and then it'll restart. So you can control the loss, you know, to whatever you're comfortable with. If you want to go 10 or if you have the bankroll to go for 15 losses in a row, you can control that. Whereas when you're using recovery, it can ramp up really quick. Where with the cycling, um, it, you have more control and you can set it to stop or restart or reset completely at once it reaches that point. Uh, so I'm quite fond of that one, especially for people who are not fond of recovery and having you know high stakes because we've all been burnt at times using recovery. Um, I know certainly I have. So I'm quite fond of this one. It's my one of my new favorites. Is these two, and I'm doing the same thing only doing the first and second to see how it performs. Started that this morning, um, the 30th of June, and these ones up here have been since the 24th, and. You know, you can increase the stakes to get more, but I like to test everything slow, build up some bankroll, and then increase the stakes. So you know you've got enough to go a couple of losses in a row. And that, that's the whole plan there. So with this one here, £2.63 today, it's up. You know, just working away in the background. Uh, but definitely my new favourites up here is this, Each Way Dutching. Uh, well, I'm going to have a quick check now to see if there's another race. I'm going to watch it again in action. Okay, yeah, we have one coming up on the Greyhounds, and we can have we watch it that. Um, I'll try and figure out a way to actually watch it in stream so we can watch it with me, but I managed to get it working That's so we go. can watch it about to check and hopefully you can hear it. So as you can see on the side, this is what happens. You'll lose, whether an 18p, 2p, 4p, or you'll lose this, depending on the strategy, whatever um, system it's on. To Swindon, then away they go. Two just uh, jink left coming out of the traps, but shows enough pace to going towards that corner. We want three. a daily trap on, one, which will probably be the sixth favourite. Yeah. Three Mohican Roberts now come out. Oh, no, it's the favourite, actually. Just in advance, then of Monomona look, Lucky. And then we've got to, in amongst them, Mendip Dave, latching himself onto that leading group. Then is Evil Edna, one that's struggling at the moment. Then he's up Port West Gale, just ahead of Sunset Palace at Bat Market. Only five lengths between top to toe off the final corner oh, on the got? inside. Mendip Dave, can he hold up towards the line? It's tight. Mendip Dave and Port West Gale, too close to goal. I Two can't four. call it. The and judge will. finish there. So let's go back to our bot and see which one that was. Um, is there any more for the horse racing? I think there might be. Today's card. Okay, right, so we've got here. one here in the horse racing the just to show you again um, how this works. Might have just got a little bump there from you say it's over. Heading around at seven acres and running towards flight number three of the eleven. And takes that on the inside of You Say It's Over with Ballyquin Bay to the outer. Slate now lane. Just so with the white face if we look over here to the, the left, on the I have a weak cursor thing. I'm going to see if we can get it up. The back to Prince Nino on the inside wearing cheek pieces and time for joy. A hard oh, fought winner. But on the right, on the left. Um, so Slate Lane currently one in here. These two side by side. They've completed their first circuit in the Fred and Edna Taylor. They even check to see how long this race is. It could be quite boring. So if you see the video, skip it. It's probably because the race has been longer. I didn't even check how many furlongs it was. Um, over the first of two flights. But you can see here, uh, the three places. Along at the back is Prince Nino, Bay, and, and again, I'll just explain this. First. So, now, what the red is, is if your horse loses, you lose the one pound twelve. If the place is, you only lose fifty p of that. Go, of and and the these as well. So, ten for joy. Nino, really want to to win this, and it's going to give us the best profit. Now is losing ground quickly. As Ballyquin Bay is but the leader, at the minute, his odds are at 8.2 and, and Slate Kelly's Lane is currently winning. But as you can see, the and benefit of this, you're getting what Nino, one of those horses pulled out. There's one, two, three, three horses Shorty. here that can possibly and win. Like it's horses and it's how it goes. Is being taken out there and has hampered Slate Lane and time for joy. And I've just seen what happened there. Something. Up before that Only hurdle. happened in the race. And could um, have taken 
Yeah, so you're getting on half the field and uh, you're covered. So even if you do lose one or two in a row, you know, you're going to get a win eventually. Um, so I'm really, really happy. It's been, you know, probably my favourite strategy to date. Uh, I actually made a mistake testing this um, the of them a while ago there, where for some reason, it, uh, I don't know, <laughs> I can't remember what set I had on, but it was wrong, and it worked out for me, but I did two bets, both for £100 each. Thankfully, they both won, I made £200 profit, but squeaky bum time, I was a white as ghost when I logged in, I was like, <gasps> Um, but it was a set and I hadn't changed and it, you know, it hasn't happened since, um, but yeah, that was, that was scary biscuits. So you said so it looks like it's coming second, so we get nothing for that and we will get one of these placed, I'm not sure which one, I think it's Prince Nero. Yeah, Prince Nero, so there you go. So, ideally, you want all three well, that was to come in. in the middle of the race, wasn't it? And if you get all three in, that's even, you're making more money. But unfortunately there, so we lost Ballyquin Bay lost, so that's 24p. And Time for Joy, we lost £1.28. And Prince Nino got a 7p, so 33, 40p we won. We lost on these two. So it's actually a loss there on that, but... The next one round, it will recover. And um, let's get our bot back up to see. Ooh. There you go, that's us in the bot. So we'll have a look in there to see which one was losing the most there. Time for Joy was 5p on that one. Time for Joy is 3p on that one. I'm trying to figure out where. Oh, this one. I had to put 56p on Time for Joy. So, um, that'll recover more on the next one. It's a pretty decent strike rate today, still 55%. Um, so, still over half. So, we have a good chance. We've lost three in a row there. So, we have a good chance of getting the win in the next one or two. And also, you think about it, that was odds of 10 there. So, if it gets a win at a pound at odds of 10, there's nine pound profit. And... Again, you can control how far you want this to go, you know, what stakes you start at. This is starting at 50p, which is a pound per race. You could do that at 10p. Um, you can go right down, or you can go higher if you have a bigger bankroll. So, just a quick overview of what I'm at and what I'm doing. Um, all these are fully accessible in the Discord. The Discord has took off a whole new life of its own. You know, everybody's contributing pretty well. You know, we're coming up with new strategies. There's one up here that I haven't talked about, actually. Um, this is a member strategy. And I want to say thanks because he been putting in, I think, uh, if memory serves me right, he has software that he's getting uh, selections from based on his criteria for horse racing. So what he does is he was manually putting them in the Discord channel and then everybody was manually going in and adding these into the markets and the bot here would pick up those and then place bets if they meet the criteria. And then we had Sammy come along and he helped take those files, put it as an Excel so you can import it as a tip and you didn't have to manually then put them in. So you just, all you had to do was add in the Excel file and it would link up with the bot here and we'd get on those selections for it today. And it was great. Uh, £41.48 in profit on that one. I reset it uh, yesterday when I changed over to test the the Excel, the Excel sheet when you're importing it as a managed tip. Mine didn't work properly. Everybody else is dead, but I had done something wrong. So I still only made 191 over five races, which again, still profit for those five one and a £41 profit overall. So loads happening in the Discord for anybody who's looking to join. Um, plus, all the old classics from all the old videos are all in there, and you can gain access to them, um, including the football one, football one, which is still running at the moment. I know there's guys in the group who are still running it. Um, I have it off just because when I'm testing new strategies, I don't like to have loads of markets in because it can slow down the system, especially because this is running on my VPS. If I was running this on my PC, it wouldn't be an issue. 
but I just don't want to overload the, the, the VPS and have too many markets in. And so I just keep it simple and work on a few at a time. Uh, but yeah, so if you're interested, just give me a shout and don't forget, remember, give me a like, subscribe and all that jazz that you hear from everybody else. It all helps. Uh, but yeah, and if you're interested in any of the other ventures I have, we've got the Amazon FBA stuff coming up and also the eBay to Del- my eBay Delato journey, which is drop shipping from eBay to Amazon. Uh, just another extra way for people to, to make an income. So until next time, see you then. Bye now.